Well, hello everyone. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, today is Father's Day, so I wanted you guys to know that I am not coming on this evening, but I did want to send out a very special Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Those of you that have been wounded, you know, most of the time my channel has more females on it, you know, more women on it than it does males. And so, but we know, trust me, we know that some of you have been through some of the same things and worse than we have because women can be very vicious, vicious. And some of you guys are struggling with parenting with a narcissist. Some of you are struggling with coming from a home with narcissists. Some of you have been abused, misused, even um, sex sexually violated by women in your life. And so your perspective about women have changed and it's hard for you to love. It's hard for you to attach because of what you've experienced, maybe with a mother, a caregiver, a sister. Uh, you know, um, there's something that I was listening to uh, Dr. the late, great Dr. Miles Monroe uh, today uh, when uh, before I went to church and something that he said that is just so profound and you know I am old school so I still believe that the, the, the man is the head of household but I don't believe in a man taking advantage of a woman I do not believe in a man abusing a woman or uh, you know trying to control her you know it is uh, she is the help me you know she is the supporter and a king understands a king understands that when he rules a king that rules understand that he is the greatest servant in that household and so when you're dealing with a king a real king that king understands that he is the greatest servant because a king serves the people. So a king serves the wife, a king serves the children, the king serves the household. That's what it is. And Dr. Miles Monroe said something and he said that, you know, the men are the foundations in the home. They're the foundations of the families. And a foundation is not something that you see. And I thought about it because we had an earthquake many, many years ago. I'll probably have a few more after that, but it was an earthquake many years ago. And a lot of the houses, the foundations were um, just damaged or destroyed. Uh, well, it wasn't destroyed. They were damaged. And anytime you have a crack in the foundation or a um, a, a faulty foundation, you know that you, you can't just fix that foundation from where it's sitting. You have to literally take the house down, go and fix the foundation and rebuild the house on top of a new foundation. And so that foundation, those are our king. Those are our men. They're the foundation of the families. You can't see it, but they carry the weight of the family. They're supposed to carry the weight of the family. They're the family. You don't see it, but they carry the weight of the family. And even today, uh, we had uh, one of our beloved um, pastors up there. His name is um, uh, Pastor Scipio Dunn. And the same thing, you know, these men are carrying the weight of their families. A real king, a real man carries the weight of the family. And, you know, not only that, if you think about it in the military, the non-commissioned officer corps, the NCO corps, I was a part of that. We're the backbone of the army. We make things happen. We make it happen. You hear it? That was our motto. Make it happen. And and with a man, they're the backbones. The, the real kings are the backbones of the families. And if you look at when a house is built, you know, you have the foundation that's laid, they laid a foundation and then they put up the supports in the whole, the framework of the house. So you see the framework of the house. That is a, that is a man, that is a real man, a real king, which is the support, the foundation, the, the, the structure of the home, you know, the skeleton, they're the skeleton of the homes, you know, but I understand that a lot of ladies have, have experienced opposite because a lot of times, you know, there's more women on the channel. So a lot of them have experienced negative things when it comes to men. We understand that, you know, and the things that we've experienced, you know, they were not the support system. They were like the chimney, you know, and we ended up being the foundation and the support system, you know, and the, 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 uh, the, the, the skeleton of the house, you know, we're the ones that the household falls on the back of. And on top of that, the narcissist falls on the back of the woman, but a real king, a real man, the foundation, the infrastructure, the skeletal skeleton of the house carries the weight of the family on his back. A real king knows how to serve the people. That's He serves the people. And so I want to tell all of you kings out there, you know, those of you that don't get enough credit, those of you that, you know, probably haven't heard it or no one has said anything to you. Thank you. Thank you for carrying the family, even if you had to leave because you were being emotionally killed in the house. You know, this narcissist was really just damaging you. You know, you came from a narcissistic family. You had a narcissistic wife, you know, uh, and her mouth, you know, just damaging your heart. You're afraid to trust again. You're afraid to love again. Gentlemen, 
you know, not every woman is a narcissist. And ladies, not every man is a narcissist. And someone is out there. There's a woman out there that will protect your heart just like you will protect her heart. There's someone out there that loves you if you haven't given up on love. Just take your time and heal. But fathers, thank you. Thank you for those of you that didn't leave your children. Some of you had to leave the household. Some of you had to leave. And when you left, that narcissist female took your children away, accused you of doing, you know, the unspeakable things to your children, taking you to court, make you seem like you're a monster. And all you wanted to do, I don't want anything to do with her. I just want to be there for my children. Thank you for still loving your children. Thank you for, for some of you, you know, you end up staying for your kids, but Thank you for what you've done. Even some of you guys, you know, that were stepfathers. You're not stepfathers. Like the Facebook post said, you're a father that stepped up to the responsibility. You're raising somebody in, a, in a somebody's child that they created. And you took the responsibility to step up to the plate and be the father that they needed. To be the father. The father hurt the child. You came in and you, you, you taught that child what it was to be loved. You taught that young man how to be a young man. That little boy how to be a man. You teach those girls how to be respected and you loved and protected them. You loved and protected their mother and you showed them what it was like to be loved by a real man. And for some of you, you did not even get the thank you. Some of you didn't even get the gratitude and your heart was broken. Your heart was hurt and you protect that heart where you feel like I cannot share that with anybody ever again. There's somebody out there that's specifically designed for you and you are specifically designed for them. And I'm telling you, gentlemen, thank you so much. I want to wish you a happy, happy Father's Day. And I want you to know that my channel, Overcoming Narcissist Abuse, we recognize that men have been wounded and injured too. And I thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. Happy Father's Day to each and every one of you. You guys have a beautiful evening. Enjoy your Father's Day. Even if it is just sitting in front of the TV watching a movie. Enjoy that moment before you go back to work. Happy Father's Day, fathers.